Wine enthusiasts, listen up. We have traveled to Bordeaux and are uncovering the wine capital of the world. Mm. Getting a taste of the 2013 Merlot grapes? Yeah. The Bordeaux wine region is located in the southwest of France along the Atlantic coast. Wine has been produced in Bordeaux since the Romans first planted vines here over 2,000 years ago. Today, the Bordeaux wine region is home to 60 appellations and more than 10,000 chateaux, producing over 7 million bottles of wine each year. The affordable regional appellation, or Bordeaux AOC, is the largest and most exported AOC in France. It's going to take more than just a few facts to figure out this famous French wine region. There is no single truth in wine, so the idea is to enjoy it. And when you say what you feel, you're never wrong, because we all taste differently. Tasting the intangible is one trick to tackling the truth. The other is terroir, or finding the face behind the place. The terroir uh, is, is a blend of three main factors, we say. One is the soil. One is the climate, and the other one is uh, the human being. This is a family business. This is so nice to work with your daughter. To do this together is, is fun. I think this is, the, this is the fun part of it. Because, to be honest, if it would have been just for me, and I probably would have stopped. I probably would have said, no, this is too much. This is too difficult. But if there is a, the, the rewarding of working with your daughter and knowing there is you're going to give something to the next generation, there, there ain't anything more beautiful as that. This father and daughter duo pour their heart into what's on the inside and on the outside of every bottle. I have an art background, so when my parents said, do you want to design the labels, I thought, well, yes, of course I want to design the labels, that's great. At the end of the day, you know, if you share a nice bottle of wine and you share it with people that tell you, oh, I like what you've done, or I like the labels, or it's so nice. I mean, it's something that, uh, yeah, you share. and. It's, it's tough work, but it's nice. Up next in our adventure in Bordeaux, we are stepping inside a French chateau straight from the Middle Ages and introducing you to the family behind the wine. With its 17th century architecture and being built on medieval ruins, this family-run estate is enchanting wine enthusiasts from around the world. For us, yes, it's magical. I hope it is also for people who are coming and we have the chance to receive them. It's a family business. 17 five hectares is a good good size we don't want to expand you we want to do really the better quality we can make it's sometimes hard but it's wonderful wine is not coca-cola so uh, each year is different each wine is different and it's very exciting to learn something else every year we're practically a stone's throw away from saint emilion here at Chateau Lajar, where they went from making bulk wine to bottled wine in just one year. A family tradition, and my family uh, come from uh, Italy, and my grandfather had a vineyard in Italy before this vineyard, and it was for me an obligation, a necessity, to uh, use this uh, vineyard and I try to do uh, each year uh, the best wine and I love uh, this, uh, this job, I love uh, make wine and taste wine, yes. Nothing's lost in translation when you're speaking the language of love. 1891, since that day we are all in love with Terrefort and do the best to make good wine. In French we say gratifiant. For your work and for your love to the property, you are paid in, paid in return because you have good wine and you have a lot of satisfaction. But no money? It may sound a bit strange that people are not asking for money, as she said, but this is also part of our tradition. This vineyard has been in the family for generations, and so we feel we do not actually own it for ourselves. People are not so much interested in money because they are heroes, but because we know that we have to develop what our ancestors transmitted to us and give at least the same, if not better, to the next generation. 
Some families here have been making wine for generations. Others are getting a fresh start. I bought the property in 2003. I decided to change uh, my life and to start a new, a new life, to have a new life with my children in the vineyard. It's very hard to, uh, to be small in Bordeaux because a lot of big wineries and we are small. It's difficult to produce wine and to, to make uh, my wine uh, well known. I really want to continue because I really like my life every day and I think it's important to be happy every day of your life. Now it's my life. I have, I'm happy every day. Happy endings don't always come easy. Florence Prudhomme lost her husband too soon when he died of a brain aneurysm at 25, leaving her with two small children and a higher purpose. You're living the life that you would have had together? Yes. It was his uh, aim also. I think we will uh, buy a property together if we will stay with me. Each story in Bordeaux is as complex as the wine produced. Coming from all walks of life, but traveling in the same direction, daring to dream. If you want to do something, you have to do what you want. I decide in my life every day. And discovering it's the only way to live.